and welcome back to Africa Speaks. Let's now continue with our coverage. Beekeeping is a fascinating farming venture whose um, you know, by are the rather are not only honey byproducts are not only honey but also other premium products such as propolis, bee venom, bee pollen wax, as well as royal jelly, which is currently fetching 38,000 Kenyan shillings per kilo. A reporter Paul, uh, Paul Thiongo talked to Chalo Mutua, the CEO of Savannah Honey, who says that more farmers are now venturing into the production of these untapped lucrative bee products. For most of us, when we see bees, we automatically think of pollination or honey production. A few others will think of the pain associated with bee stings. Bees are also used as a symbol of hard work, diligence and cooperation. Having had a sit down with Chalomotua, also known as CEO Wanyuki, you immediately appreciate their importance and be surprised by the many products they produce and their uses. I worked with the government uh, for several years. Uh, actually, when I was resigning, I was a district fiscal planner for Trukana. And I'll, I got somebody who, was, uh, who knew that I come from Mukambani. And now they thought that now that I come home from Kambara, I know everything about beekeeping. So he told me he's got a friend who wants a lot of bee pollen. And he told me the guy was taking bee pollen to Turkey. And so he said, uh, why don't you get bee pollen to, the, I mean, to this guy? And he's buying one kilogram at around 32,000. Pollen is the, is the male part of a flower. And when bees go to the, to the, to the forest uh, foraging, they will pick two things. They will drink nectar, which now mixes with enzymes in the stomach, now to make honey. And they also carry pollen by their legs, which now they would use in the hive. Of course, they, they do some secretion, mixed with some secretion, to make food for the young ones. Now, this pollen also has got uh, some very special protein that is not found in any meat. That's the interesting part about it. Is, is a source of protein that uh, is not found in any legume. And now, uh, most of these multi-level marketing companies, when you go to them, you realize that they, have, they, are getting, they are selling some supplements, they are selling some pollen in some small containers. Now, royal jelly is the white, milkish honey in the hive. When you open a hive, even a traditional hive, you notice a place where there is a milkish honey, honey that it looks like, more or less like milk. And this is uh, most of the time in a small quantity because it's food for one bee, that is the queen. This is what makes the queen stay for five years, all right, while the normal bee stays for 40 days. We now have royal jelly, people have started to know about it, and many people now are, 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 are now consuming it. And that was, that's what has made royal jelly to be very pricey. We have had many people that have been asking us to take them bees, to bite them, to treat them arthritis. Bee venom has been used as an, for therapy purposes. And uh, would, would carry bees using a bee cage. And if you have arthritis, if your arthritis about this joint, will direct the bees to bite you here, to sting you here, that is in the morning, lunch, and evening, and for three days then we'll charge you 42,000 shillings. Savannah Honey provides farmers with all the necessary equipment, skills and support to be able to harvest these premium products. And as Joseph Kinoti, a technical expert in beekeeping, explains, a farmer reduces the time and cost of labor drastically when you use the recommended equipment. Wakati tunavuna venom, tunatumia venom, bee venom machine, inakuanga electrical. Wakati unasubua nyuki, kuna kereli, uu ina vibrate. Ikianza kuvibrate, queen, akiwa kwa, kwa broda, ana produce pheromon. Ya kuambia nyuki, kuna andu, kuna andui. Sasa nyuki watatoka nje kwa attack, yule andui. Wakikuja, watapata ili, ii e, e, e flame, watapata ni wires. Wakati ya takanyanga hii waya, na nime ikona, ikona power, 
atapiwa shoko akipiwa shoko yeye atastini akisting juli waya ile hiyo hiyo mzinga yake si eti atawacha ataenda nayo juu amesting waya hiyo sumu itamwagika chini kwa kio vile anaiachilia anaiachilia in form of liquid lakini sisi tuna collecting crystals from solid Beekeeping can be a fulfilling and profitable venture in Kenya not only providing a source of income but also contributing to agricultural productivity and environmental conservation. However, it is essential to approach it with the necessary knowledge and commitment to ensure the well-being of your bee colonies and the quality of your honey. One of the main challenges that is facing many farmers is a lack of information, lack of uh, know-how that uh, more beekeeping as good is more lucrative than, than most of the other enterprises and many farmers uh, equate beekeeping they think beekeeping is a poor man's business but the, 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 uh, very few of them know that the income you can make from this number of beehives here is quite too high than what you make in in 50 acres of maize because when you factor in royal jelly you factor in uh, propolis Uh, be venom wax even the honey itself you realize that whatever you can get from this number of hives here is way too high than somebody who's doing acres of 50 acres of maize beyond kenyan borders honey and the products mentioned earlier are gaining recognition in the global market their commitment to quality and sustainable practices is making waves in the beekeeping business in kenya the beautiful thing with savanna honey is that uh, for the first harvest we harvest for you free of charge so that we can train you and your team on how to go about it but our, um it's also in, i mean our good we encourage our farmers every one of them to have a, to have a bee suit every one of them to have uh, some a pair of gloves every one of them to have at least some boots and and a smoker those are basic equipment that should always be accompanied by every beekeeper simply because they also help in case anything happens researchers and organizations in Kenya are continually working on innovation in beekeeping such as hive designs and beekeeping techniques to improve honey production and bee health beekeeping in Kenya represents an intersection of agriculture conservation and economic development it not only provides a source of income for rural communities but also contributes to environmental sustainability through pollination and the preservation of natural habitats with continued support and innovation the Kenyan beekeeping industry is poised to make further positive contributions to the country's development reporting for KTN news and Paul Tiongo Elsewhere, HLA gear replicate sandstone sculptures that date back to the Rakhine Kingdom 